Howdy, I'm Lee Wilson, and this is TGO Wyoming, on the move. And right now I'm changing lanes. Yeah, but realistically, I would like to talk today about a interesting uh, phenomena that I call the non-person, right? So most everybody who is watching this is going to be familiar with the gray man concept. And if you're not familiar with what a gray man is, it is basically a way of presenting yourself to the world where people do not notice you and do not uh, give you a second thought. You don't stick in memory. It's basically urban camouflage or, well, it's just human camouflage, right? So you are so not memorable as a gray man that you blend into everything and everywhere and nobody ever thinks twice of you. So you could walk down the street, nobody even pay attention or remember that you were ever there. And then there's the non-person, right? So the non-person is a term uh, coined by a family member of mine. And <clears throat> the non-person is an interesting construct, right? So basically you're kind of a gray man except that people notice you. The thing about it being a non-person is although they notice you, they don't remember you afterwards. And one of the hallmarks of the non-person is that people will open up to you and talk to you and spill their life story, tell you, you know, details of their lives, very intimate details of their lives sometimes, and they'll have this meaningful conversation with you, and then you can run into them 10 minutes later and they have no idea who you are. Now, I had a non-person moment uh, over the weekend while I was out shopping. Now, I'm not gonna give you guys the details of where I was or what I was buying, Actually, I, was, I can tell you what I was buying. I was buying stuff for my house. I know, very vague. <laughs> but I had a specific question between two items. I was really debating between two items that do the same job. And a customer service representative comes up to me and we start talking and we discuss what the application for the home is, um, which option is gonna give me the better product and the better results, are there other alternatives to this, is this a temporary fix? Is this a permanent fix? And, you know, we get through and I decide on which product I'm going to buy. And this guy's like, you know, this is totally unrelated, but have you ever heard of a so-and-so? And I can't honestly remember the name of it, but basically the gist of it is, is that it is a in-ground greenhouse. And he goes into the details there. You dig 12 feet down on one side, and then you slope it up to six feet on the other side. You plant in the greenhouse and you have uh, a sheet covering it of you know mylar plastic sheeting that covers it exactly 39 degrees and how this creates you know the wonderful greenhouse and you reinforce the 12 foot side so it doesn't collapse it on itself and it goes into this detail of creating this greenhouse which i think is pretty cool because i mean I, i'm very much into gardening and permaculture i'm learning about permaculture and i was like wow this is kind of nifty and he's like yeah you wouldn't believe it but I got this, uh, I inherited this piece of property in Colorado and I'm going to move down there and start, start growing weed. And he's like, you know that the uh, state of Colorado took in $17 million in tax revenue last year and I want my slice of that pie. I'm like, dude, you are detailing your entire business plan about moving to Colorado and being a pot farmer to a total stranger. And I'm just thinking, oh man, that's not something I would tell somebody if I were planning on doing it. I'm like, okay, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, cool. Good luck to you. Uh, all right, I gotta get to get to fix my house. Thanks. And I realized that that was a non-person moment because here's somebody that I don't know. I had just a very casual conversation with about a totally unrelated matter, and he just goes into the full detail of his life and his family and his plans and wanting to leave a legacy and I'm just like why are you telling me this this has no bearing on anything this is totally unrelated to our our previous conversation about product and this happens all the time I mean it's it's happened to me so many times I'm, uh, I could be sitting on an airplane and this person next to me starts talking about how th their aunt has cancer and that their family is moving out of their house and uh, you know all this stuff so the non-person, however, I mean, I've seen these people, you know, run into them, like, say, for the airplane incident. I've gotten out of the, uh, off the airplane, down into the terminal. I, uh, see them ten minutes later, nod my head at them, say hi, and they look at me like they've never seen me before in their life. So the non-person, it's 
<laughs> it's interesting to be one. Let me know if you're a non-person. I'd like to know if there's other of us out there, because, you know, I don't know if that's strictly related to my family or if this is a common phenomenon. So, backing up, and stop. As always, if you have found this video educational and or entertaining, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on the video. You can use a little comment box below. It's great. I'd like to hear from you guys. I always like hearing from everybody who watches the videos. So, thanks again for watching, and as always, stay safe, shoot straight, and I'll see you all next time.